Well, I'm back in Orlando, Florida at the Fairfield Inn and Suites. This is year one, week 28. So yeah, I'm back here in Florida in the Fairfield Inn and Suites and well I've been sitting here in the hotel room I've been thinking about trying to do something new different with my vlog and one of the things that I have come up with is to convert some of the audio of my vlogs to podcast format and the reason why is because I've been thinking about this and that podcasting for me as being a listener is very enjoyable because it allows me to listen in different places like being on an airplane, being in a rent -a car, being in a hotel room, taking a walk and I want to start experimenting with that longer medium with you because maybe that would work out and so what I'm thinking about doing is doing some type of podcast format but do it maybe once a month as a summary of what I've done what my success has been in this exploration of weight loss and being less fat but also what I've learned and that really becomes part of the key, which will be part of this first podcast here on the service called Spreaker. So I went ahead and I created a free account to get something like five hours of space for podcasts, for your own podcast. So if you are watching this on YouTube, then you can also listen to this on Spreaker. So uh, check that out, please. So whether you are a subscriber here on YouTube or now a subscriber on Spreaker, then welcome. So uh, I'm excited about this. So we will see how this goes. But yeah, I am probably going to start off here for the remainder of this year also doing a podcast format on Spreaker once a month as just a summary, a recap, a topic. But the good thing is, is that I have already decided on what I'm going to call my podcast show. And it's going to be called The Less Fat. Oh, no, that's not right. Day. <laughs> it's more than just less fat. It's think thinking think less fat and the reason why I chose think less fat is because the key to weight loss in my experience so far in these 28 weeks and now over 60 pounds less fat is the key has been for me education the amount of information that I have learned about one, my own biochemistry, my own physiology, what is happening in biochemistry. It's absolutely amazing the amount of education that I have already gained. And so the key to weight loss to being less fat is thinking less fat. So my podcast show uh, will be titled Think Less Fat Podcast Show. I believe I just said podcast show. Right. But so the Think Less Fat podcast show 
we'll focus more on the mind, brain, cerebral education that has to accompany any type of journey, exploration, quest, whatever you would like to call it that goes along with changing your behavior to manifest yourself into being less fat and weight lost. The key is education. My original tactics for losing weight was a simple three tactic strategy. And I posted this on my vlog in the past. It was one, consume less. Two, more nutrition. And three was move more. Real simple, basic tactics in a very simple strategy. And originally, I thought this would probably get me to where I wanted to be in my change of behavior. But in my education and thinking as I think, because I am trained as an aerospace engineer and mathematician, it's about physics. And even though I've said before, I do not and did not like chemistry when I was doing my aerospace training. I did learn about thermodynamics. And so I have, for these last 28 weeks, and it really hasn't been 28 weeks total for this thinking. It's actually been somewhat less because I've already started to do some education before this, but we will call it 28 weeks since this is the 28th week that I have started this exploration in this journey of thinking less fat and therefore being less fat, which has manifested itself into over 60 pounds of weight loss. But going back to talking about my engineering and the physics and the thermodynamic principle, which is basically, right, is that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It is just transferred. So there's a whole body of knowledge out there that I was even doing. It was my main tactic of my strategy, which was consume less. Calorie restriction is out there and there's so many fads or strategies. Let's just call it what it is, right? So many strategies and products that are out there that are focusing on just consuming less. But then as I was thinking about this and I really started to think about this and I'll even say it, to meditate on this and really focus on where my brain and my thought process was going, I started to ask myself questions and the questions that I started to ask was, is it just calories in, calories out? Is there another place? When I consume food, is there another place that food or the calories, not the food, the calories can go? And in a moment of an epiphany, maybe, is the word. It dawned on me. It, it came to me. It was, it was somewhat uh, transcending that this moment that I had. It is not just about you consume calories and you expend calories. Clearly, yes, you ingest and you consume calories and your organs, your normal body functions, the amount that you move, all consume calories and require the consumption of calories. Absolutely true. But there is another place and another process that happens with the consumption of calories. And that is 
is then your own biochemical process of how your body reacts to that consumption of calories. And what I have found out in my education is I have found out that one of the biggest things that is in this world of metabolism, calories, weight loss, being healthy, whatever, is your body's response to calories by the creation of or the secretion of insulin. It's very, very interesting. And, and I'm not going to go into a tremendous amount of the science or the biochemistry or the physiology of what happened because I could trigger you now to, to look this up on your own. But when you consume calories, there's actually two. It's not calories in, calories out. And the reason being is because, is it, it, again, it dawned on me that it's calories in, calories out, meaning expenditure, right? The energy. But then depending on your body's reaction to the calories and what type of food, because really three main types, right? There's proteins, uh, fats, and carbohydrates. So depending on how your body reacts to those three types of calories is another output, let's say it, another output for calories. So it's calories in, calories out one way in terms of the metabolic and biochemical expenditure of those calories, but also there's the way that your body reacts to what type of calorie it is and the secretion of insulin. And you've seen that on my vlog where just a couple weeks ago, I think it was week 26, this dawned on me and I wanted to find out what my sugar level was in my blood because it, it came to me all of a sudden that insulin and the insulin reaction to the calorie input is then very, what is the word that I want to use because I'm losing the word that I want to use here. The word is dependent. I'm not really sure if that's the word I want to use, but how insulin reacts to these three different types of calories, protein, fat, carbohydrates, then determines what your body, how your body reacts to what to do with those calories. And from my education that I have found out here is one is typical with carbohydrates, especially sugars. There is a tremendous reaction and secretion of insulin into your body, which basically really tells your body typically is, hey, 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 mm, cells open up and store this stuff. Insulin is an extremely powerful hormone as best I can understand in my now very limited education, but I am trying to educate myself on this and learn more and then go ahead and experiment with my own body which is really trying to reduce the dependency that I have on carbohydrates and sugars to limit my insulin response so therefore then I don't have this hormone called insulin rampant in my blood regularly and spiking or just at an elevated level so therefore then my body says oh damn carbohydrates sugars oh all of this store 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 but because i'm trying to think less fat therefore be less fat because that's how it manifests itself if my behavior is think less fat it will manifest into a behavior of being less fat and will then manifest itself 
into a weight loss. That's how I'm thinking right now at the current level of my education. So, but then I've done some more education and I have found out that proteins and fats do not create such an insulin response. So, for that reason, what my education has come up with, hence my podcast show here, which this is episode one of the Think Less Fat podcast show, is now to consume less, yes, but now to also consume such that I am not triggering an insulin response. But I also then want it to my new thinking and my new behaving to manifest into weight loss. So therefore, also what I need to do is I need to work a strategy or maybe revise my strategy of consuming less, more nutrition, move more, to include another tactic, which is to keep my insulin levels and response low. And the reason why I want to keep that low is because I don't want my body reacting due to insulin in my blood saying, store, store what is being inputted, calories in, what's being inputted. What I want to do is I want my body to go, hey, let's go ahead now and start to get our energy, our calories from our stored fat. Therefore, I need my body to not have a elevated level of insulin or insulin, sorry, insulin, such that my body is like, okay, I don't have all these carbs and sugars in the blood. We've burnt all those off. There's a low normal level of insulin. We still need calories, especially to maintain brain function, muscle density, moving, all our other organs and so on. So let's now get our calorie input from stored fat that is already in the cells, in our fat, which is actually in my education has also, I've learned it's also called adipose tissue. So that is what I am focusing on here for the time being, which is one, consume less. I'm still doing calorie restriction because I would eat whole pizzas. I would go to Taco Bell and order like four things like Nacho Bell Grande, triple layer burrito, right? Spicy tostada. I would order all these things. Go to McDonald's, 50 piece McNugget. I mean, hell, if you have, when I go to McDonald's, I would want the hot mustard sauce. If, well, to eat the hot mustard sauce, I need some type of medium to dip in there, which is a 50 piece McNugget. Well, hell, if you have a 50 piece McNugget, then you got to have a quarter pounder with cheese. <laughs> I mean, it just makes sense. And if you have a quarter pounder with cheese, well, you got to have french fries. And if you have french fries, well, then you need to have some type of soft drink. That was literally my thinking and my behavior in the past. Because I, I didn't have the education, and nor perhaps I, did I have the motivation, and nor even just the, the caring, the way that my, even my life was set up. It didn't matter if I was just a, a fat slob sitting in a chair playing video games or a fat slob sitting in front of of a computer doing some type of emails or something like that. So in my education now, I am really thinking about one, still consuming less, still calorie restriction, especially calorie education. And that's one of the things that I will say here is that you need to do is educate yourself on the calories that you're putting into your body. Use an app, something like Lose It. That's the one I used, Lose It. So I could just track what I was consuming and educate myself and become aware of what I was just putting into my body. And of course, yes, you can use that app for tracking less calories, but just educate yourself on what you're actually putting into 
your body and of course read labels and all of that kind of stuff on the food that you are consuming. And of course I was also using the Lose It app to eat more nutritionally. And then I was using apps like All Trails, I really like that app, All Trails, to also track how much I was moving and walking and exploring and all of that. So I use apps to educate yourself, but now I'm using, as you saw in week 26, I am now using a sugar monitor or meter, sugar meter, blood glucose level meter, I think is what it actually says on the box, to also educate me on what consumption does of calories to my insulin level because what I understand in my education of what goes on when I consume calories is that my body has an insulin response and if there's a high insulin response there is then the biochemical process of where my body decides to either consume the calories, burn them, or store them. And what I want to do is I still want my body to have all the functions that it can have, but I want it to get its calories from stored fat. Therefore, it manifests itself into weight loss. So the key to weight loss, the key to being less fat, the key to thinking less fat is education. I'm Uncle Mike Mike, and I hope you enjoyed my first podcast of the Thinking or Think Less Fat podcast show. And I will see you on YouTube for week 29.